Well, I think that the earliest challenge is likely to come from North Korea with the launch of an um, intercontinental ballistic missile. And it may or may not work, uh, but they're getting there. And the question will be kind of where is the missile going and should we shoot it down? And that will require a decision literally within a couple of minutes. So my hope is that as the president gets his team in place, that one of the first things they begin talking about is contingencies uh, with respect to North Korea and particularly a launch uh, and, and whether to shoot down. So I think that the, the, the most likely first challenge will come from North Korea, but it could come in three other, in at least three other places as well. And, and I'm talking about challenges that are military and that require kind of an instant response. So one would be uh, an Iranian action in the Persian Gulf against one of our Navy ships to try and test uh, how strong he is going to be. Uh, another would be in the South China Sea by the Chinese. Uh, or if he decides to present a tougher image and how the Chinese react to that. And then the third would be um, uh, whether there, you know, we have now had situations where Russian fighters have flown within 30 feet of our warships and within 10 feet of our aircraft. And, and to tell you the truth, just taking the, these three very quickly, so if I were Secretary of Defense, when that plane, when that Russian plane threw, uh, flew <coughs> within 20 or 30 feet of an American warship, I would have sent a message, I would have asked the President to send a message to Putin that basically said, the next time your, tr your, your forces come that close to one of our ships in international waters, we will paint it and we may or may not shoot it down. Stop it. In the Persian Gulf, uh, we've had a number of instances in recent weeks and months of the Iranians pointing guns at helicopters, at our helicopters, making racing uh, attack-like things on our uh, warships. Again, I would have sent the message to the Iranians, you guys get closer than a half mile to one of our ships, or you point guns at our helicopters or planes again, we're going to react. Just know it. And you're not going to win. And again, in the South China Sea, we, 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 we say we have conducted freedom of navigation uh, uh, missions against these islands, Chinese occupied islands and built up islands, but in truth we haven't. They've been innocent passage. The difference is innocent passage is like when the Chinese fleet went through the Aleutians. You have your radars off, you don't fly planes, you don't fly helicopters, you don't turn on your radars to paint uh, the other guys or anything like that. That's what we've done around these islands. These have not been true freedom of navigation operations that we have run against these islands. So I think, I, you know, I, I tend to think that part of the reason people think we're withdrawing and, and inward and so on is that we have reacted pretty weakly to some of these challenges over the last year or so.